what is going on guys thanks for stopping back in here to the channel if it's your first time here go ahead and get down there and smash that subscribe button but today we are going to be going and going for round three of my check engine light so um you guys know that i have cleaned my egr valve and i have cleaned my throttle body and it's throwing a code for intake air position sensor thing yes yeah, so i looked it up and everything says throttle body and you can't just buy the sensor as far as i know you have to buy the whole assembly so i do have that brand new throttle assembly from good old rock auto because it wasn't a cheap part it was like Every time I went to look them up, you could not find them for the 6.7. Every time that you went to find one, it, you'd look it up and then it ended up being for this year 5.7 or 6.4 Hemi. So you, it's hard to find one and they were about 150 bucks. And I got this one for 330 on on um, Rock Auto. And I checked uh, Genuine Mopar and it was 440. So that's even more expensive. So yeah, so we got this one. So we're going to jump in to getting all of this removed and hopefully um, get rid of the check engine light. And then also, if you guys watched my last video where I installed my, yeah, my cubes, I said I mounted them stupidly. And here is the new mount. Here is the way that I should have mounted them in the first place. And if you watched my other video, stupidly i went and mounted these on the other side for some reason because i was thinking the other one sits back here the old fog light assembly the factory one so i need to go on the other side for some stupid reason i was thinking that uh no they just need to be mounted like this i went and retweaked them and readjusted them because they were angled outwards on both sides of the truck and i didn't like that because i don't i want to be able to run with them and not have to flip them off every time a person passes me so yeah, so I remounted both sides of this. They look a lot better. So if you guys watched one of my videos before, you know that I like to show everything that I do and removing this. I'm going to show removing all of this to get all of this out. And then I'll show you um, taking the old one off, putting the new one on. I do have a new throttle body gasket as well. It's like six bucks at Napa in advanced. And um, Advance didn't even have one in stock. The Napa did, and it was like six fifty. Or I ordered it from Rock Auto for three, and then with shipping, it ended up being like just a hair under six, I think, because stupid me didn't think to put it on in when I ordered my throttle body, so I had to order them two separate times. Yeah, wasn't thinking. So yeah, guys, so we're going to jump into getting this removed and hopefully getting rid of the check engine light today.
Okay guys, she is all installed and buttoned up. Um, the very I took this apart to clean it a little while back and it took me a little while because I had never tore one of these apart before. And now that I tore it apart, it went very smoothly and fast. So the clips you're gonna see me taking it out and put it back in are the very first time that I took it out and put it back in. Um, it's just, I would have refilmed it again, but it's very hard to get an angle because like you have to remove this, you have to remove this, you have to remove this. And the only place you have to sit stuff is up here, which is not a good angle to see down in. The only other place is the battery and like I'm working from like this side over. So it's kind of hard to get in there to see everything. I don't have a person to hold the camera the whole time, but it took very minimal time being that I have done it before to remove it and put it back in. This is the second time. I started at about 825 to take it out and it is five till nine. So it took me 35 minutes. Okay guys, well, like I said, it took me about 35 minutes to swap out the whole thing. So if you wanna do it at home, this is something that's not too complicated, especially if it's the Cummins because they're easy to work on. Even though this is a newer one, this is a 15. But yeah guys, so it took about about 35 minutes to swap it out. That was good. Um, yeah, and then I did drive it up the road and the check engine lights to one of course i'm sure it's going to take a little bit for the check engine light to clear but i'll just bring the scan tool home from work and clean and clear it because i forgot to bring it home now or i would have already cleared it as you can see though here um my fog lights are extremely bright so i was standing out in front of them when i was trying to adjust them and it was burning my eye sockets so um i can't run with this when I'm passing people like I was wanting to sadly, but literally I drive with one hand a lot and the switch is, right here's my hand, you can see it. It's right under the steering wheel on the left hand side, but like my headlights suck and they need adjusted because one of the brackets is broke on them. So this headlight needs to go up, but really to me, both of them need to go up because it's like this truck's not even lifted. And to me, they are aimed way too low at the ground, but Yes, it is very, very bright. So these are good fog lights, they're rough country. And yes, yeah, so if you guys didn't see that, you can go check out my previous video before this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope um, it was helpful for you. Getting her swapped out, getting her back installed, it's pretty simple to take out and put back in. And hopefully that fixes my check engine light. So I went and changed out the whole throttle body on this thing, Rock Auto, about 330 bucks. I'll put the link in the description for it in the gasket if you guys um, are needing one or want to look it up and check it out for yourselves. So I hope this video was helpful for you if you're having the same issue with your truck. Um, I will also put the code in the description that it's been throwing every time. It's like air intake position sensor. I'll put the code number and everything. I got a screenshot of it in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you. If you did, go ahead and get there and smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day, everyone.